Hello, and welcome to my show again, because my cameraman messed up the whole presentation of what we did to make this fish to get started. So, I'm going to tell y'all again. We are making some fish tacos, and we are going to use one pound of mahi-mahi. Start over. Make sure you keep your recipe in front of you, because like my grandma said, you will forget something. Don't act grand. Just do it. Now, one pound of mahi-mahi, one fourth cup of canola oil, one lime juice, one tablespoon of chili powder, one jalapeno, one fourth cup of cilantro. You're gonna have eight tortilla shells. You're gonna use one tablespoon of minced garlic. I use minced garlic because it's easy. It's in the jar, it's already done. Go for it. And for my mama, dash of kosher salt for the people who need their salt. So what we did was we put it in a bullet. See, the bullet. That's why it's still sitting here, because my cameraman didn't press the button. But you can use a blender. You can use some sticks. You can do whatever you need to do to get it all mixed up. Just make sure it get pureed. What I did is put it all in a little bullet, and I did it for probably about, um, until it was all mixed. That's good enough. <laughs> it's gonna look like this. So that's probably, you guesstimate those seconds. I'm gonna say about 12 to 15, but I could be wrong because I'm old and blind. So you're gonna puree it until it looks like this, and you're gonna put it in your little bowl and let it marinate. See, marinate. And it's gonna sit there, and we're gonna let that marinate a little bit more before we put it on the grill. And what you wanna do the night before, which I already did, is you're gonna make you some Carolina sangria. See, the big old jar. Mm -hmm. You can use a picture, whatever you want, make it cute. Cause I like the jar, cause that's what my grandma used to use, a jar, but it didn't have a little thing on the front. But I had to get out fancy cause it was on sale at Walmart. So what you're gonna use is one fourth cup of brandy. You're gonna use one fourth cup of lemon juice. One fourth cup of sugar. One third cup of frozen lemonade. That's frozen lemonade. Don't go over there and buy no lemonade. Ain't no lemon lime lemonade powdered stuff and all that. And try to put it in the refrigerator and freeze it. Go on here and spend your 98 cent and get a little can of frozen lemonade from the Walmart. Okay? And then you're gonna use one fourth cup of orange juice and you're gonna get you a bottle of red wine. They say dry, but my, don't know, dry, wet, sweet, whatever, it's just red. So you pour it in there, whatever your flavor you like, or if you just wanna be cheap and buy the little $3 bottle, it's all gonna taste good anyway, cause you're gonna mix it all together and put it in the refrigerator. That's it, sangria. And when we come back, we are gonna show you how to cook that fish that's marinated that you got to miss the whole presentation for because my cameraman messed up. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, and we are back and we got our garnishes together here for our fish tacos. And I like to mix them all together and put a little bit of lime and olive oil and salt and pepper on them. You can leave them like this because some people don't like it all mixed together, but at my house, they're gonna get what I serve. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take this and we washed our hands and we're gonna use our hands for this. You just gotta get in there sometimes. That's what my grandma said. So put all of it in here. And come over here and take your lime, cut your lime. You only need one. And what you're gonna do is just squeeze it. You like the way I squeezed that, didn't you? I know I did. So, take your olive oil. This part is all up to you. You just do however you wanna do. I just take and put a little sprinkle on it like that. Then I take salt. For my mama. And some pepper. And you just kind of work it together. It's going to fall all out the bowl and everything. Don't get all worried. Uh, if you like me, I eat that part. Y'all, the guests don't have to eat it. They don't ever have to know that you dropped any out of the bowl. But I'm doing this right now. She's living nowhere. But 
That mean I ain't mixing good enough. <laughs> there we go. See, it's coming out now. now. I'm mixing. This is how you get to mixing when stuff starts flying out the bowl. And there. We got our little garnish ready. And what we're going to do is put this aside. And in a minute, we're going to set it over here after we grill our fish. And we're going to get our sour cream and put on there. And we are good to go. And still, got to show you how to make dessert. That's my favorite part. And see, like I said, that's for me. That's for y'all, for me. Okay, bye. We are out here in my backyard. Turn and give them a few. This is how we do it. And back to me. So, we're going to cook our fish. I got these little grates down so that my fish does not fall through the cracks. And I'm spraying it with some Pam after cooking oil. And I washed my hands, so I'm going to use my hands to lay this fish on it. And I got my hickory smoker there. So, it kind of gets like a smoky taste. And my grill is at 350 degrees. And we're going to leave this in here. And we're going to do this for two to three minutes on each side. So I'm going to close this up and let that cook. And we'll come back and show you what to do next. I'm a go put my bathing suit on and jump in the pool probably so when you come back I might be half naked I'm just kidding maybe not but you have to stay tuned to see bye and we are back and no I didn't change and put on my bathing suit because I didn't want to make y'all jealous that I was gonna be in the water and y'all were gonna be in the water because I know some of y'all in those states that just don't have no water but anyway back to the food so I already flipped my fish and it's cooked perfectly as you can see and I told you to Keep your bowl with your sauce in it, because what we're going to do now, we're going to take this fish off and put it back in the bowl that it came out of. Sometimes you get lucky and it doesn't stick, and sometimes you don't. It depends on how the God's working for you, because it sure ain't the spray, because Walmart spray, Pam, all that it do the same thing. See? But that's okay. And we're going to put this here. And sit that there. And we're going to take this fish inside. And I'm going to meet y'all in there. I might still put on my bathing suit. You never know. Bye. And we are now inside with the fish. And my grandmother taught me something. I don't know if it's true or not, but I ain't dead yet. And it seems to work because you know seafood ain't regulated. And I know some of y'all are like, oh, you put that back in that marinade. So what we going to do is, I don't know about looking. Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. Woo. Jesus. You're going to put the lid, just set it up there so stuff don't splatter around in your microwave because you can't stand a dirty microwave. You're going to put it on for a minute. And while it's cooking, we can stand here and talk about me. So, you know, got a YouTube channel. So when you go to my YouTube page, there's a link on there that will click you to my online store page, which is up, but we're not doing online orders yet, but we will be doing it soon. So make sure you check that out because it's going to be the bomb. And y'all, y'all want to have my stuff. You really are. You're going to be... You're gonna to wanna to hang out with me and everything like I can hang out with all of y'all, but you know, some of y'all, you know, Tyler Perry, y'all hang out with you and Mike Allstar and Ryan Reynolds call me. But anyway, we got 17, 15 seconds and it's gonna come out and then I'm gonna show you what to do next. And see, I'm so hungry, I done forgot what I need, but I do know what I need. It's right here in this drawer. It's called a fork. And there.
we did this to as my grandma say. My grandma used to say, you put that in there for a minute and you had to kill the bacteria. Y'all don't tell I said, I was talking about her like that because she used to get mad when I imitated her. But anyway, and then you just take your fork and flake it up. Oh, Lord. Y'all just need to go home because all y'all standing back there in the background, camera people and, and show people and all that, y'all show ain't getting none of this. I was trying to be nice. I was going to offer y'all some, but I'm lying. Ooh, I lie. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, hell no. Y'all ain't getting none of this. So, when you make this, y'all can share if y'all want to, but I damn sure ain't. I'm finna kick these people up. Out there, out my house. They gotta go. They gotta go. But anyway, I'm gonna take a break. Get myself set and kick all these people out. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna make myself a plate. And then y'all can watch me eat. This ain't gonna be fun. Be back. Bye. Hello, and we're back. And we're filming now because uh, they won't let me uh, get the presentation set together because they some greedy people. That's all I gotta say about these people over here. But... Anyway, I got it all set up, got my Pico out, and all my fixings, and that was for me, because it seems like if I don't eat now, while I'm talking to y'all, I ain't gonna get no food. So, we're getting it all set up here, and we got it all over there, and I'm gonna just leave that there because they're vultures, and they'll just eat that by themselves, and so, why ain't nobody looking, I'm going over. And I don't care if it fell on the floor because I'm going to clean it up. Okay, the soup's been got in there and come on out. That's the bad thing about fruit and your sangria. Well, that's enough right now anyway because I ain't supposed to be drinking, so. Oh my God. Camera man, you better get some before they get here because they looking. Okay, and now I have to tell y'all totally goodbye. Actually, no, I'm not gonna say bye yet. Y'all come on and get your little plate and let the people know what y'all think about my food because you know. Everybody lie about their food and say it's good because I've been to a bunch of people's houses and you try their food and, they, and you know, it's just, mm, okay. But I'm going to let them be the judge of it. And while they're fixing all of that, there will be a recipe book coming out soon. Really. Soon. And make sure y'all go check out my website and, of course, the YouTube page. And we're going to get the online ordering up so all of y'all can have everything all about me because y'all know y'all want me and I told you Ryan call me okay come eat come eat come eat come eat make your plate mm. and this is how we roll Why did you use the boats, Jeff? Because it's easy. <laughs> That's what this is all about. I easy. Well, not like me, but you know, it's just easy. <laughs> y'all can talk me into making anything. You see that? That's how easy I am. And y'all still. Y'all are eating right now, and y'all still gotta make y'all blue green dumplings. Mmm, delicious. And You know you gotta put out some Tabasco sauce because it wouldn't be Mexican without it. So, on that note, I'm gonna eat and start my dumplings and I'll see y'all a little bit later. Peace.